All right, we're approaching Labor Day, which means in the north we're entering the ideal time of year to plant grass seed. Weed competition is lower in the fall versus summer and spring. The warm days and cool nights make it ideal for germination and establishment, and precipitation generally starts to return more regularly. I want to talk to you today about four steps that can help you ensure a successful fall overseeding. Step one is seed selection. Perennial ryegrass is the fastest germinating of the three cool season species and offers you the most flexibility and timing of seeding. Tall fescue is not as fast as rye, but it is faster than Kentucky bluegrass and still offers you a good option in the fall. Kentucky bluegrass is the slowest of the three, so you will want to be careful the later it gets into fall as frost can impact your seeding success. There are a lot of factors that go into determining which species you should use, like whether or not you have an irrigation system. What is your maintenance budget? Do you have enough manpower to maintain these? Step two is preparing the surface and planting. You will want to aerate the field as much as you can to open it up to maximize seed to soil contact. Next, you'll want to top dress the field with a sand, soil, or compost to level the field off and provide yourself with an excellent seed bed. You don't want to bury the seed as the optimal seeding depth is a quarter inch to a half inch. If your aerator does not have a seed box, you can use a fertilizer spreader to apply the seed evenly over the field. Step three is applying a fertilizer that includes phosphorus and readily available nitrogen so the seed can utilize the nutrients as soon as the shell cracks. Using phosphorus will not only help the young seedlings establish, but it'll also help the roots of the existing plants coming out of the summer stress. If you live in an area with phosphorus restrictions, be prepared to show a soil test that indicates that you need the phosphorus at planting. The final step is keeping the seed damp. It is important to water the seed frequently so the shell can crack and it'll start germination. Once the surface is firm enough and the grass has grown to about two inches, you can begin to mow. Mowing it early will encourage tillering and help with establishment. Prompt seeding in the fall will ensure you have enough time to sit back and enjoy watching the seed grow and watch all of your planting come to fruition. By using quality grass seed, you avoid planting problems for yourself. For more information on the best grass seed to use, you can check out our websites at dlfpickseed.com or sroseed.com. And as always, you can contact me and I can point you in the right direction. My name is Matt Duncan. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.